Based as it is, where the Carpathian Mountains meet the River Danube, Bratislava has a long cultural history involving many of the countries that surround it. So Marosh, we're in the new town now. Tell us a bit about it. We are in Eurovea, which is, so to say, a modern face of our capital. Eurovea is a very popular residential neighborhood. Uh, it's also a neighborhood where uh, one of the largest shopping malls in the region is located with 150 shops. It has a five-star Sheraton Hotel and especially it has the embankment along the River Danube, which is very popular with residents of Bratislava and visitors to our capital. But finally, what's most interesting here is the building of the new National Theatre, which is one of the most modern theatre venues in Europe. And of course that's behind us now. That's the new town. Let's head off to the old town. Let's go. On the way, we couldn't resist stopping off at this beautiful Art Nouveau church. Then we headed for the majestic main square and one of the traditional cafes for a coffee and a cake. Now we are in a traditional cafe just off the main square. What's amazing is how well kept the city is. It's beautiful, it's clean. Um, we've just ordered two cakes. Now I've got one of the traditional cheesecakes and you've got a, a sacca tour, is that right? Yes, absolutely. This is sacca tour. Obviously sacca is known for, for Vienna, but we shouldn't forget that we are 60 kilometers down the Danube from Vienna. So you can have your good sacca cake also in Bratislava. And obviously what's so special for this region, for all this Danube region, is uh, coffee drinking culture, uh, which very much belongs to uh, cafes uh, of, this, of this region. So anytime in the afternoon you sit down, Pause, have your cake and have your good coffee. Let's do it. Let's do it. Marosh, it's incredible just how compact Bratislava is as a city. Everywhere is within really easy reach. We're now in Havyuzoslav Square. Uh, how is my pronunciation? Your pronunciation is fine. Havyuzoslav's name is not so easy to pronounce. And it's also his poems are not so easy to read for us, the Slovaks. Because, but anyway, he's one of the most important writers we had in the past. He is for us something like uh, Shakespeare for English or Goethe for the Germans. Wow, that's amazing. So this square was named after him. Just talk us through it. Well, first of all, in front of us you see our beautiful opera building, built in 1886, uh, designed by two important Viennese architects, Fellner and Helmer. And today this is the old opera building, because there is also a new National Theatre building. Uh, further to the right you may see Philharmonic Hall, you may also see here the Carlton Hotel, which is the landmark hotel today part of a uh, Radisson Blue Chain. And finally, further to the right, you see Vizdoslav's statue sitting there as part of the fountain. For us Bratislavians, the city is really something special. We are very proud of this city because it really passed through a special period of redevelopment and refurbishment in the past 25 years since the collapse of communism. And what is also very interesting, it's a, it's a city of a lot of history. You find here layers of Celtic, Roman history, uh, you find here Slavic heritage. And obviously for many centuries Bratislava was a royal town, it was a coronation city of kings and queens of Hungary and it was also the capital of the Kingdom of Hungary between uh, uh, the 16th and 18th century. So it's a city that is a unique and what's also very interesting, it's a lively city. So if you come here in the summer, you find many outdoor cafes, uh, many outdoor and uh, uh, restaurant terraces. You find here a lot of museums, but what's probably most interesting, you find here a lot of people, not just uh, visitors from uh, abroad and tourists. You find a lot of local people going out and just enjoying themselves in our beautiful city. <laughs> 